Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Do you own a diesel car from around 2007 to 2012? Do you have a few little problems with it, a few issues? There's a reason for it, but I want to give you three ideas that can help with it and I'll explain what the real reason is at the end. Now, nice and simple, this is an Audi A3 1.6 diesel, but it's the whole range from Audis, diesels, BMW, Mondeos, Volkswagens and several other ones around that era, so 2007, 2012. What they start doing, you'll notice, is that it stalls. When you go and pull away, you feel like you're riding the clutch a little bit, obviously you'll stall. Revs seem to dip. Now you start to think, oh, what could it be? You know, don't go to the garage and get new injectors because they're two, three, four hundred pounds. You don't do that. Here's three simple ideas that will help, but I'll give you the reason why, as I said. Two simple fixes you can do under the bonnet. The first one is simple, a simple diesel injection cleaner. Pop it in there, normally fill your motor up, pour it in, does about 50 litres, and this will help clean your injectors, your fuel system, clean any impurities that are in the tank. You can get them little bottles, seven to 10 pounds. You can get the heavy ones as well, and I mean heavy as in like, they do lots of different things as well, do you have cleaner and so on. Better for MOTs, and I always say put one in before your MOT, run the tank, really give it some, and that will clean your filters and so on out. However, the next one is simple. Air filter, which is here. Generally, 10 mil, maybe an Allen key, this just pops up. Inside there, you're gonna find a paper filter. Chuck it away. Now you don't need, I don't expect you to get one of these big induction kits, you know, a ram air that costs hundreds of pounds and redo it all. No, not worth it. A lot of money for not a lot of bang. And you also don't need to get the Canon top of the range one that's £70 and the Greenfield ones. Just a simple sports filter, around about 30 quid. That will let your engine breathe so much better. It will help towards pulling away. They say they give you better performance as well, up to 15%. I put one in here and you really do notice a much better pull away, along with the cleaner, the clean injection system, and this filter, you are going to notice a massive difference. And the last one is in my last video, which is simply just over here, which is your diesel filter. Do not underestimate how much this gets forgot about and how much good it does by changing it. In the last video I showed, it was black, and I mean really, really bad. Remember, you're trying to suck your diesel through a tightened straw, doesn't work. And they're so simple to do nowadays. In the old ones, you know, pre-2000s, you had a little pump and you had to make sure you didn't get air in the system and it was opening stuff, and the earlier models, really bad. But these modern ones with four pipes here, simple, undo, lever them out, put the new filter in now. I still pre-fill mine. I can't help it, it's old school. I've got a diesel cam with diesel in it. I top it right to the top, pop it back down again, turn it on. But these modern ones, you don't even do that now. You can just put the new filter in, turn the ignition on, turn it off, turn it back on again. All this will fill up, all the air will come out the pipes, the engine will start. I always start at quarter revs, way it starts, keep your foot down for five, 15, 20 seconds, good as gold. Check for leaks afterwards, make sure you've got the little ring that goes around the top of the filter system on there, okay? It can get dropped in and you can get diesel everywhere, not clever. Really good tips, great advice to do to your car. The filters get changed every time you do a service. The diesel filter gets forgot about. And if you check the history, you know, an average garage won't do that in a service. They'll do your well for you, and they'll do your filter, 99 pounds, you know, you can do it yourself. But get rid of that paper filter, get a good one there. Doesn't matter, but this, this is seven pounds, 10 pounds. Filter 30 quid, cleaner. So you're looking about 50 quid, and your car will start, run better, better performance, better miles per gallon, it breathes better. This is brilliant, very simple to do with very few tools. There's lots of videos out there. I haven't bothered showing you today to get it up, but it is so, so simple to do. It's embarrassing to show you because it really is simple. And that's it. There's the three tips. But it doesn't actually sort the problem that's causing a lot of your issues. No good riding your clutch all the time because at the end of the day, you're going to start wearing your clutch down. It's embarrassing when you stall the car as well and it's bloody annoying. You're going to pull away, 
you know, if you're doing A to B journeys and you haven't got to worry about stopping and starting so much, keep filling up as normal, but do them three little tips, brilliant. But if you are stop starting traffic and you're stalled in a car, you're riding a clutch, it's going to damage your car and really annoying. Now I'll show you what the real problem is. And we're back here again. Yes, I know a little while ago you just put your seven pound cleaner in there. It's going to be a world of good for your injectors to clean them. But there's something else that happened. Some of you might have watched my video about E10 petrol and E5 petrol. Kept it quiet, but there's been loads of problems. Now, B7, pretty sure that's what it's called. You may not have noticed it. It's been in for years, 15 years maybe. But this set of engines had the problems. And let me show you what it is. You simply see it says diesel there. It's here. Can anyone see it? Let's zoom in. Diesel, not for biodiesel. They don't run on biodiesel. You might have had a car for years, and I bet some of you are going to go out today, pop this. And it says it on BMWs, Mondeos, Fords, these Audis, Volkswagens, a lot of them say, don't use biodiesel. They say it. Now, <laughs> there's your problem. They don't like it. You can get an octane increase for petrol, and you can also get one for diesel. It does help, that 15 pound a tub, it does like 10 fill ups, it will help. Along with other little bits, they'll also help. So who would have thought it was something as simple as that? Just like E10, they popped in the biodiesel, it's the ingredients they add into it, basically waters it down, adding a bit of like chip pan oil in it, called it biodiesel from plants and everything else. Great for newer model diesels and older models, but for some reason this range here, they didn't like it. Now if you pop to the garage next time, you'll see the B7 and whatever numbers they are on there. I should have revised on that really, shouldn't I? But I've seen it before. It is the total garages, Merco, all the cheaper sort of garages, depending on what percentage they have as well. I don't know, it's 10 to 30% or whatever they're putting into it. It's not good for these models. You can get the super diesel, and when it was when it was like only a couple of 3p difference, when now you're paying like two pounds, I think it's down to 170 a litre now. It's still a lot of money to go to that 180 a litre. That's what I was just say, if you're doing the three things I suggested, your car will still run, you're not gonna notice it too bad, it will be better. But without that, you're still going to stall, you're going to start riding the clutch, and it is damaging your engine, long total longevity of your engine as well. So, nice simple one, stop using biodiesel if you can, get the better quality one, you're going to have your shell garages and you know your, your better quality garages that will have the better diesel that aren't using biodiesel in there, and your car will run a lot better. Do the little tips I've just said. Hopefully your car will last longer. This isn't a bad little Audi A3 convertible. I must say, I've just washed it and it's wet. I'll do a video on this. 1.6 diesel, 65 to the gallon. I can pop the top down and have the window and what left in my hair. Drive very well, basic model, not being tampered with. Another video coming out of that one. Right, there you go. Follow my tips, that's what they're there for. Take care of us on the roads. Good to see you all, bye bye. Just in case anybody wondered, there she is. She's three years old now. Some of you um, might have watched my videos when she was tiny. She's got quite big now. How are you doing? Eh? Hey? Feeling sorry for herself, really, but I love her. Right, there we go. Oh, hello. She's waiting for a W A L K. If I say walk. She's like, ooh, did I say walk? No, I didn't. You've got dirty eyes for I'm going for a walk, yeah? Give me a minute, and we'll go for a walk. Yeah. That's all she wants. Oh, now look. Full of life now, isn't ya? Yes. All right, sharp shot. Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Do you own a diesel car from around 2007 to 2012? This particular model is an Audi, but you are talking BMW and Fords, 
Volkswagens, around that sort of era's... Mm, idiot. Hi Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about diesel engines. Do you own a diesel car from around about 2007 to about 2012 here in the UK? It doesn't matter which form, does it? Hi Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Do you own a diesel car from 2007 to about 2012? There's some common problems with these diesel cars that you might be noticing and there's a reason for it, but I'm going to give you three things that can help. Mm. Take four. This is it. Please don't say I just scratch the fuck out of my car. And it makes you think, what you got to do? Well. You can buy the, basically the City Diesel and the Apple Garages, Merco Garages, all them sort of total ones. They do this biodiesel, depending on how much biodiesel they add to the ordinary diesel. But it's crud, you know. You ever seen that stuff where you can get chip pan oil and you can ch convert that into it? Same stuff. Don't like it. It's full of other little ingredients that these cars don't like. All the new ones are fine. Um, some of the vans and that lot, they just run on, you know, anything. But these cars don't like it, that's what's making all the problems you're going to have now. Cut all that out, start again. <laughs> 